this is prashant uh, let's continue with the last lecture so in the last lecture just we have finished uh, i would be uh, uh, reference model uh, just to arm architecture so what are the specifications of uh, architecture model uh, what are the components of uh, uh, reference model what are the uh, developments what are the development what are the uh, con constraints of uh, i would reference model these are the topics we discussed in the last class so now we move on to the uh, the basic introduction point of uh, state of the art that is in the part of iot architecture here so the that is uh, state of the art so here uh, from the state of the art uh, iot architecture having uh, different uh, uh, components like uh, Uh, sensors ga devices gateways and cloud computing so generally the iot uh, the beginning of the uh, iot can start with sensor just to, to record the data so after recording the data it can by using communication protocols we can transfer the uh, uh, gathered data from the sensor we from one device to another device so after uh, transmitting or after process after communication is over just the data is analyzed so after analyze just it can used for the development of the uh, application so here i am um, uh, sensors gateways and uh, devices gateways and cloud so the iot architecture varies from solution to solution or problem to problem so based on the type of solutions which we uh, intend to build uh, is the iot major consist of four main components like sensor devices gateway, gateway. so here uh, this is the just the uh, diagram of state of the art here the state of the art it is the part of iot act it having uh, four uh, four components like sensors or actuators uh, device and uh, gateways and cloud pump so here the main stages of iot architecture here so the stage one uh, stage one having uh, sensors and actuators uh, stage two having uh, internet and gateways that are uh, Uh, D D A S data acquisition systems in order to send the data, and stage three having uh, edge uh, IT information technology analytics. Uh, this is for the main function of uh, edge IT is uh, analytics and uh, pre-processing of the data. Next to uh, stage four having uh, data centers or cloud. Uh, just after storing the data, just we can use for analytics and main management and achieve the process. So here. so this is in the form of just it can provide uh, one part uh, in terms of security so eco friendly so it is ecosystem and uh, it can provide uh, some services to use uh, to develop the real time applications like in this way we are using iot devices here so the things primarily uh, analog uh, data sources here so devices machines people Uh, tools cars animals clothes uh, toys environment buildings etc so whatever the internet of things iot internet of things the things it what whatever may be here we have uh, different devices different devices machines uh, people thing whatever it may be just you can connect with the internet so it to make it smart devices that is called iot devices just we, the general uh, term of the uh, thing so here uh, Uh, in the stage one, we are having sensors and actuators. Uh, that sensors are uh, just it can connected to the wired or wireless communication. So in order to gather some information based on the performance of uh, activities. Uh, next to gateways are uh, data acquisition system. So the main function of stage two the internet gateways and data acquisition systems are data aggregation and A to D converters, measurement and control system. So in order to data aggregation after the uh data from the stage 1 so the whole data we can, we cannot use uh, there is uh, no possibility to gather the data so from gather the data just we have to extract some useful uh, useful information only so that useful information is called data aggregation or after data aggregation so that that is in analog form that uh, that uh, it can convert it into analog to digital converter that the, that may use in stage 2 next uh, measurement so how much amount of uh, you use so for example i am using 12 gb of data just i need only 12 gb of data so for only 12 gb of data only i can extract from the uh, aggregation uh, mode next control so you can control the uh, all the activities within the uh, device so this is the 
uh, stays to having gateways, gateways and uh, data acquisition system, uh, data aggregation and A2D converters. Next, uh, edge, uh, stage 3, uh, edge information technology, this is for analytics and uh, pre-processing units. So, before processing, just we have to verify with pre-processing models only. And the stage 4 having data centers and clouds, it is used for analytics, management, uh, service and access. So, this is, these are the uh, stage 4 of, uh, of I, state of the art. Yeah. So, um, the, this is just the arrow indicates uh, uh, data flow, this is for control flow. So, these are these main, uh, main analytics management control, analytics management control, analytics management control. So, this is a, just a uh, graphical uh, structure of state of the art with uh, uh, four type of four stages. Stage one, uh, stage one having sensors and actuators, the, just the input devices for internet of things. Just you can, you may assume like that stage two, uh, just in order to process the uh, information from I uh, associate devices to the internet. Next to stage 4 having analytics and pre-processing, stage 4 having data centers and just in order to store the uh, data. So these are the uh, effects. Next one, uh, the first one sensors and actuators we already know. So one by one let's see. So sensors are uh, collecting the data from environment object under measurement and uh, turn into the useful data. So just you uh, gathered different uh, uh, stages of information, uh, stage one, uh, uh, just four kind of situation. So the four kind of situation you may uh, gather from uh, some data. So this entire data we cannot use. So uh, from the data we extract, we extract some useful uh, information. Useful information just we may use. So the the. Uh, sentence that only the think of the specified structure in your uh, cell phone that will get you to the directional full of gravity and uh, the phones are related to position to the uh, things the things we can call the earth are converting to the data your phone can be used at orient of the device next to actuators can also intervene you to the change of physical control a uh, condition that generate the data so just to, uh, after sensor we will go for actuators next to sensing actuating uh, stage covers everything from legacy industrial devices to robotic camera system uh, water level detectors air quality sensors accelerometers like that heart of the monitors these are some sources so to store the to gather the information next to an actuator might for example uh, set of uh, power supply adjust the air flow volume or move robotic reaper in an assembly process. So these are the some specifications of sensors and actuators in order to gather some information from the various uh, various kinds of situations. Next, uh, stage two that is internet gateway. We already discussed about uh, internet gateway. So this is for data from the sensor starting from analog form. This is just just, uh, uh, just to analog form so that we need to transfer uh, just transform into the digital form uh, just to digital form uh, so here the data need to be aggregated and uh, converted into digital streams for further processing downstream uh, data acquisition system perform the data aggregation and conversion function so it is very very important uh, das data Data acquisition system is very, it connects to the server network, uh, aggregates output and performs the analog to digital converter. Next, the internet gateways receive the aggregated and digital data uh, and routers is to uh, Wi Fi and wide localized networks. We have the internet, the stage to uh, confirm the system the further processing. So, the stage two systems are often uh, sit into the uh, close proximity and sensor and actuator. So, this is the uh, about uh, gateways and uh, stage two that is internet gateway. The last one, uh, the last button IoT edges IT. Uh, since IoT data has been decided and aggregated, so it's ready to cross into the uh, real time of IT. So, IoT the data may acquire further processing before it, uh, it enters the data centers. So this is the where uh, edge IoT system which perform more analysis and come into play. So edge IoT process may be located in uh, remote uh, offices, other edge locations, but uh, generally this is in the uh, facility of the where location of the sensors uh, reside, look closer to the sensors. 
such as in wiring uh, closest so this is the uh, about the edge uh, i voting i it so that the last four stages is uh, fourth stage is data centers are cloud so after aggregated the data just we have to store it in cloud so data that needs to be more in depth processing uh, and where feedback does not have to be uh, immediate gets forward to physical data center or cloud based systems where more powerful it systems can be utilized manage and secure store the data it uh, takes longer to get uh, results from when uh, wait until the data reaches full stage uh, but you can execute and do uh, uh, more in depth analysis as well as combine your sensor data that to data from the other sources in deep sense so this is about to fourth stage that is uh, data, data centers and cloud in hybrid mode also so it can in the cloud so in the hybrid mode system but the type of processing is executed in the uh, stage remain the same regardless of the platform so these are the uh, four stages of uh, uh, iot architecture in the part of state of the art so these are the four step next uh, reference model and architecture just we already discussed about uh, uh, this architecture here so the reference uh, reference architecture having uh, reference architecture uh, architecture design and the actual system so this is the just to the just to reference architecture it having uh, different uh, uh, models uh, as a reference here so this is extracting essential uh, part of the system next architecture we are having uh, different architectures in order to build the iot world uh, actual system so we are uh, just uh, name uh, buildings like uh, reverse or whatever just we have to show the real time problem so this is the relationship between reference uh, architecture uh, architecture and actual system next one uh, so this is the uh, iot architecture tree tree so here we have uh, different so this is for i uh, iot architecture so here, here we are having uh, wi-fi bluetooth some communication protocols and uh, sensors so actuators so rfid tags and zigbee communication technology so it is this it can rounded off uh, communication protocols communication protocols and uh, iot devices iot device uh, communication protocols and iot devices actuators so uh, with the help of uh, these are the domains of uh, domains of application domain domain applications in every domain just we may use uh, iot so this is logistics smart cities smart houses uh, smart transport uh, product to business environment uh, smart energy health care ambient assisted living and uh, living and retail so every domain is we can use so the for establishing such a matrix based on the strong and exhaustive analysis of the state of the art uh, we need to env uh, envisage the super set of all possible functionalities mechanisms and uh, protocols that can be used for building uh, such concrete architecture and show the uh, interconnection take place in the selected one so these are the uh, architecture reference model uh, uh, main building blocks here so it can start with the existing architectures and solutions so it is sota so it is rational uh, arm rational it having uh, iot architecture reference model having uh, vision business and scenarios iot reference model and iot reference architecture so complement uh, iot architectures to the multiple organization to the complement uh, iot architecture so iot reference model provides the uh, highest abstract level for the definition of the iot architecture reference model it promotes which type of promotes it can uh, able to promote so here common understanding of the iot domain the description of the iot reference model includes general disclosure on the iot domain and iot domain uh, model as a top level description and iot information model explain how iot information going to be model, model. so this is the about to iot arm model so next one overall process overall process can start with the business scenarios and existing architecture and stakeholders and strain to end devices end to end users so here high level representation of the iot reference model and iot reference architecture depends from the model uh, influences here so the unified requirements of the uh, system for steer to the iot reference architecture elaborate just ex exploit from the business scenarios to the application specific requirement from the unified requirements 
and it define uh, complete domain specific architectures iot reference model and we will get the with the help of iot reference model so this is about overall process of the high level representation of the iot reference model and the iot reference architecture dependence and model influences so this is the dynamic view dynamic view of the iot architecture arm process um, so here it is having uh, one uh, arm draft and arm review here so with the help of these two we are having arm derivation domain modeling and function modeling uh, from the requirement collections uh, finally we are having state of the art from the state of the art only we go for requirement collection uh, just it can take input from the stakeholders or end to end users so uh, with the techni uh, technical analysis and demonstrate implementation so these are the some points regarding this uh, dynamic view of the iot architecture process next to some benefits we are uh, having by using uh, architecture reference model so we are having one two three four four types of uh, benefits of using arm so here the first two it aids for guiding the discussions it is guiding the discussion uh, since it provides a language everyone involved can use uh, and which can inter uh, intimate, uh, intimately link to the architecture the system use of uh, domain etc the second one the high level view uh, pro provided in such a model is high educational value uh, since it can provide the abstract but also the uh, rich view of the domain it's the third one the architecture reference model can assist iot project uh, leads in planning the work at hand and the times needed so this is the third benefit of using arm the fourth one architecture reference model aids to identify independent building blocks for the iot system so this is the uh, fourth benefit of using arm model so uh, basically uh, for product development and other activities and architecture reference model is uh, for to use next uh, we are having some methodologies so based on the methodology we go for some adapted uh, work aspect of adapted in our work so for aspect oriented program so the for the this is for our work is declaration of functionalities by aspects uh, this is embedded in the concept of functionality groups next to model driven engineering so model driven engineering general concept of transformation from a generic to more specific model uh, we use this concept for describing and uh, developing of best practices next to pattern design based so this is the methodology for this methodology our work so we will test the efficacy of the uh, method upon uh, deriving a concrete architecture as a best practice uh, test case next to views and perspectives we adopt the concept of views and perspectives for the derivation of the iot reference model uh, we arrange all aspects of our system uh, reference architecture according to the views and perspectives the same is done for uh, unified requirements so these are the four kinds of methodologies in uh, iot architecture reference model uh, aspect oriented uh, programs for for each and every methodology we are having some own work so like uh, i mentioned in this uh, table so aspect oriented uh, programming model level uh, engineering pattern based design and views and perspective so this is the uh, table for usage of standardized architecture methodologies for the development of the iot architecture reference model very very important uh, uh, table methodology uh, aspect adapted to work so next these are the uh, references i used for this lecture uh, thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates